not just for us only something that should be taken and struck and killed. The biggest thing though is that it's seven and they need to be worshipped at the bottom left of the net. Hey y'all. So y'all, it's the next day. I just finished eating lunch and I wanted to come and show y'all. I went back to Walmart because I had to switch out Serenity's um, Paw Patrol Crocs. Like they were too big, which I kind of felt like I knew they were going to be because her foot is super skinny but long. So I went to Walmart today and then I came home. I studied and then just ate lunch. So let's go over this shopping haul because baby, why did I come out with it? two bags and I went there for an exchange why they need to like put me on um on the ban list from shopping because y'all I just can't help myself but it'd be the good deals that really get me because I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna show y'all but let's get into it so first and foremost like I said I did go there to switch out her crocs I had got the seven eight but I went back and got her the five six um because they run a little big so <sighs> super cute to love them so much like i wish they had not paw patrol but the like the, the um tada looking design in my size like those are so cute and then since i saw that they ran big i went ahead and got sincere the 11 12 like i didn't get him those yesterday because i was like uh because he's like in a 12 13 right now but since i saw that they ran big with serenity i was like hmm, i'll get him these so he can try them and they are mini uh mickey mouse so i'm excited for him to see those i think he'll love them and then y'all know I have bought Sincere some um, swim shoes yesterday. I got Serenity some swim shoes. I was like, let me just go ahead and get everybody's. Like, I don't know why I didn't do that yesterday. And then I got me some swim shoes, just some black ones. And then y'all, yesterday, let me tell y'all what happened. So we went to Taekwondo and then we came home and the kids were taking a bath. And I was trying to show Sincere that I learned their little kick thing that they was doing so I could show him that we could practice at home. Y'all were in the bathroom and I did the kick thing with my slippers on and my slipper went into the toilet. Girl, I threw him away. But the funny thing is, I had already been saying in my mind, like, I'm about to get rid of these slippers. I don't want them anymore. Like, they kind of old and not even like, they're probably like four months old, but I just didn't want them no more. I wanted some new ones because I wanted the thicker memory foam. So I felt like that had to happen because I was procrastinating on getting some new ones. <laughs> At least that's what I'm telling myself. So I got me some new ones. Look how cute. Y'all, they're thick. They are the deer foam. They're so cozy. They're so cozy and cute. And they were on sale for $11.98. They're normally $14. So they have different colors too. They got pink. They got black. Um, and they got those. But I already have pink ones, um, which are the super thick ones. I love those. And then uh, the ones that fell in the toilet yesterday, it was like gray black. So I was like, let me get my white ones. So I got those. And then... I got Sincere some um, swimming trunks because y'all remember yesterday his swim shoes have like the highlighter green and then my bathing suit was the highlighter green. So I wanted his shorts to match too because y'all know match outfits is what we do. <laughs> so yeah, so then I got that and then I got him um, uh, a rash guard to go with it. And then y'all, I'm headed to go check out and I walked through the women's section and let me tell y'all walmart has come a long way baby do not sleep on walmart if you are sleeping on walmart you need to not do that okay go to walmart y'all their fashion has it's almost given target almost y'all these right here is at target okay and i had just bought me a pink one which i'm gonna show y'all in a second um i bought me a pink one and it was on sale too at target they're normally like 42 dollars or something like that at target it was on sale for 12 dollars, so i got the pink one but y'all they had this nude one and then i got a black one they had olive but they didn't have my size so i guess it wasn't meant to be but y'all these were on sale for eight dollars eight dollars they're normally $13 at Walmart, but they were on sale for $8. So I went ahead and got both. But like, yes! So now I have a um, black 
a new tan and a pink one let me go get the pink one from target and show y'all all right y'all so um target's is a little bit thicker mm, slightly not really but this is the one from target and their brand is called joy is it joy fit or i forgot what it's called anyways it was $12 they're normally $40 and it was $12 so I got this pink one at Target so y'all I'm done shopping for for a minute for February <laughs> no more shopping for February but this is all stuff for future so that's just how I like to shop I like to shop in advance especially when I see a sale like baby I'm getting it so yeah um that's that so like I said, I just finished eating lunch and I'm about to get ready to, um, what am I about to do? Really, I'm about to finish this podcast that I have started and then I gotta go get sincere and we'll probably go to the park today. Y'all, we went to the park yesterday before Taekwondo and we were at the park for like three hours. <laughs> yeah. Maybe two. Yeah, we was at the park for two hours, so we're going to go to the park. Y'all, the weather is so beautiful in Texas. It's like, y'all need no jacket. That's how good it is. So in the morning times, like, you know, we need our jackets, but by the time 9 o'clock get here, we don't need no jackets. So we're enjoying this weather, and yeah, just want to show y'all that stuff. I will catch y'all probably tomorrow. So you guys, just gave the kids their Crocs. You like them, mommy? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You want to show yours sincere? Ooh, ooh, Ray Ray. I heard the people that like it. Ooh, sincere. I like it. Do you like them? Yeah. You can fit them too. I'm so glad. Nice. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Shakira with Shakira Speaks. And y'all, today I want to share something. So, first off, I got this cap on because y'all, my eyebrows are healing. I got them micro powdered, I think is the word for them. But they're healing, and yeah, it looks crazy. They're peeling. And mm, so, I got this hat on, my bun. But Shakira Speaks, y'all, let me tell y'all. So, I just had lunch with my son at school, and y'all, my presence is very heavy. Like, everybody at the school, they know me, okay? They know my car. They know when I'm pulling up. They know my kids because I don't play that. That is one thing my mama taught me for show, for show, is, like, let your presence be known wherever your kids are and just be active, engaged. So, yeah, that's what we do over here. So, nonetheless, y'all, they have a security there and. He's always had like small talk and stuff about my car, of course. If you know, then you know. So I was leaving lunch and he was in the hallway. He was like, what you do for a living? And y'all, I get this question often. So it didn't bring me by surprise at all because people always want to know like what I do for a living, especially like when it's like you know, during the daytime when people are typically at work or whatever. Uh, so I'm like, I live life, I worship God, take care of my kids, take care of my home. And he like, okay, okay. He said, I do that too, but he don't pay the bills. I said, well, the God that I serve, Jehovah Jireh, he provides. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, but he don't put the money in my hand. I said, but he give you ways to do so. He was like, where you work at? I said, all of that is work. So I come here to share all that with y'all is, y'all i don't feel like it's being judgmental at all like i don't mind the question and i don't feel like he was coming from like a a bad place or anything like that it was more so like a curious place 
which most people are like that when they see me or just the way I carry myself, the way my kids carry themselves, you know, you can look at things and just wonder or people's time or whatever. And y'all, wealth looks different on everyone, okay? I'm not uh, not gonna even gonna say that because we billionaire princes up here, okay? And that's how we speak. But, um, and, not but, and that doesn't define my success or my wealth. I am wealthy because I am healthy, first and foremost. Your health is your greatest wealth. I am wealthy because my kids are healthy. I am wealthy because God has given me my time back. So I have a wealth of time, which I'm so grateful for. So I get to do the things that the Lord has called me to do, which is be an exceptional mother, okay? And be a homemaker, okay? And I haven't always been in this space to be, I guess, proud of you know, who I am and where I am and what I do and all of that kind of stuff. Because for so long, my worth was tied up in performance. And what that means is like, I started working at an early age at 14. So what all I knew was like, you work hard, you do this, you go to school, you go to college, graduate, you get a career, like do, 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 do the American dream stuff, right? And my worth, I would always put it into like, okay, I checked out this box, I checked out this box. And a part of my wealth, thank you, Jesus, that God has truly blessed me with is just knowing like who I am and whose I am in Christ Jesus. And that is the greatest wealth that you can ever inherit, okay? I'm a kingdom kid, okay? I My father is the priest, okay? Jesus is right here at my right hand, okay? He is Lord of my life and I am um, committed and submitted to whatever the Lord tells me to do. So I say all that to say, for one, if you are a mom or woman who is going through a season of change that feels uncomfortable or not really like you're normal, it's okay because God has plans for you. Okay. Also for the people who are curious, I'm just say curious, you know, about other people's lives and like, what they got going on be okay with things not looking like what you're used to looking like this is when you know like you are a god follower too like you have to get out of like what the world tells you women should be doing or what men should be doing or like where you should be working at or what you should have and all that kind of stuff so once you like reframe your mindset from that as well like you can get outside of that and just look at life um a little bit different so i hope that this i felt like i kind of rambled a little bit but those who get it and needed this word, I hope that it blessed you. God is good. He is so amazing. I'm super grateful for just everything. And I wouldn't have it any other way. My life is amazing. I don't take it for granted. Every moment that I'm breathing is truly, truly appreciated because, baby, I know what it feels like to not be able to breathe. And that's not a good feeling. I don't ever want to I don't even want to go there. So nonetheless, I hope that this word blessed you. And if it did, share it with somebody. And don't talk about my eyebrows because they healing. <laughs> I wanted to come back with a part two because I thought about some more things that I really wanted to share. So let's get into it. I thought about it and I was like, why is that? That it's, and how do I say this correctly? I don't want to say that it's like a, Excuse me. Hmm. I'm trying to see how to how to do this correctly. <laughs> so, growing up, it was never the norm to see like black parents home during working hours. Like, you know, I come from a single mom, so my mom was always working. But you know, most people went to work and stuff like that. But y'all, this is not like abnormal, <laughs> like other ethnicities and other cultures, like there are moms and even sometimes dads who stay home with their children and take care of their homes. And I just feel like we got to really make it um, normal for it to be okay for black people as well. Because with the story that I was sharing with y'all in part one is... There's also a mom 
who is always at the school, just like me, in my son's class. Her daughter is in my son's class. She's like the room mom as well. And she's Indian. And the same security wasn't asking her, or I don't know, I don't feel like he's ever asked her, what you do for a living, you know? And it could be because he's black, I'm black, and it's just like relatable, I don't know. But like, that's just not asked to other women, like, who, who are not black. And I feel like we need to make it more normal that it's okay for black women to be homemakers as well. It's okay for us to take care of our kids and stay home as well. And uh, black dads as well. But yeah, like she, she do the same thing that I do. She be at the school. She eat lunch with her kids. She, you know, drop them off, do the same stuff. And I just feel like, you know, if we put a black woman, a white woman, an Indian woman, a Asian woman, all these women together, and there's, all different kinds of us who are doing the same things but I can guarantee you that if you were to ask each of them like do they get that question often I would probably be the one who gets it most often and that's me making a large assumption so that's just my opinion okay um but I don't feel like like an Asian woman's getting asked like what you do for a living like if she is out and about during working hours or you know at her kids school so I just want it to become more of a normal thing because like y'all that it's okay like that is okay like I don't know I just wanted to come and share that quick little tidbit because we gotta normalize homemaking we gotta normalize mothers taking care of their kids like that's work okay like let's stop trying to downplay being a stay-at-home mom is like not work like it's work <laughs> we work all day like we uh, that's a whole nother debate like we can go not even a debate but holding the topic that I can like just go on and on and on about because I've been on both sides like I've been a, a working person I've been a non-working person um in the you know, corporate world type setting and all that. And I have friends who are moms who work full time and they take care of the kids full time. And like, you know, we were still are so relatable in so many ways. So yeah, we could definitely get into that. I can definitely, definitely, maybe I'll do that on my podcast. If you're not subscribed to my podcast, go ahead and do so. Um, it's called Identify You. You can stream it on Apple Podcasts or you can go to YouTube and search I am Shakira TV. And yeah, I think I may do that. Like gather up some of my mom friends who are, you know, full-time workers, maybe part-time, maybe some stay at home or homemakers, whatever, or entrepreneurs. And like we have a panel type discussion because I feel like more of these conversations need to be had so that we can normalize different things for different people whatever folks your boat whatever god has for you baby okay so yeah hold a hand and don't believe a lie you understand me walking down the valley pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach like the angels do and you gonna make it through now Tell about the healer, greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky. And I'm a wait up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer. To take her higher, higher. Fly out the valley and the fire. Take her. Running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army 